you're in the middle of the Vietnam War in the area where you're trying to land your helicopter to get soldiers out is a hot zone, meaning you are in the middle of enemy territory and can be fired at at any moment. When the worst possible scenario happens, the helicopter you're flying falls apart and you head straight for the ground. We hit really, really hard. And with all that fuel on board, it was it was a nice fire, I'm sure. I didn't get to see it, but that's all I remember. I, I remember losing the aircraft about 100 feet off the ground, and that's, that's all I remember. Ronald Hope was at the helm of the Huey. And when it hit the ground, poof, I mean, it, the aviation fuel, the tanks, burst into flames. David Chafin from Hebron, Kentucky was an Army medic. Just a few months in country, this blonde-haired young man and his fellow soldiers jumped into action. We ran over to the, where the chopper was at, and we, we drug these guys out of there, and they were, you know, like they'd been burnt. They had other injuries. Ron's injuries were crushing. He lost his arm as a result of the damage. And I was burned over about 60% of my body. I had third-degree burns on everything on the back. I had both legs were broke. Uh, this one was compound commuted. It had bones sticking out of it. Um, I was a mess. <laughs> it was literally a mess. The two men would go their separate ways. Ron hauled off to a mass unit some 100 miles away. David, not knowing who the man was that he helped pull from the fiery wreckage, would go on to continue his work as a field medic. After all, despite what happened, the war continued. Then, this article is posted in the Disabled American Veterans magazine. It's the story of Ron and the marking of 50 years since the helicopter crash. Reading this article, and I thought, gosh, that sounds awful familiar. 1969, helicopter crash, July, and I'm thinking well, that might have been the same month that I, that I remember. David soon realizes the man he helped pull from the burning chopper was still alive. I would have never came across this if it hadn't been for this DAV magazine. After more than 51 years, the two are reunited at the DAV headquarters in Cold Spring, Kentucky. I kind of teared up a little bit and, uh, you know, seeing somebody that you hadn't seen for over 50 years and knowing that, knowing that you had a part in them being here today. To actually talk to someone and actually get to meet him, and it's like I told him, if it hadn't been for him, I probably wouldn't have made it. This whole thing took about 18 months to get together, and it's great that these two had the opportunity to reunite, and we were invited along to experience it as well. But remember, so many Vietnam-era service members never made it home alive, and others are still missing in action. To all the Vietnam-era veterans watching right now here in the Tri-State, I'd like to say, welcome home.